God help us. What if the Chigos have the same God? All right, this ain't church. Retrieve the collateral damage and move out. This LZ is hot. Let's go. This. Come on, take a look at it. Okay, easy, sir. I'm Captain Joyner, United States Army Special Forces. We're here to help you get home. Look at that, right there, up there. See? It, it, 12 billion people, 12 billion lives, and, and then there's me, okay? 12 billion lives, and then just me! He coming! Just me! You can't get me home. See these people? They can go. strife, no prejudice, no national conflict in outer space as yet. But why some say the moon? Why choose this as our goal? And they may well ask, why climb the highest mountain? Why 35 years ago fly the Atlantic? We choose to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other thing. Not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Because that goal will serve to organize and measure the best of our energies and skills. For tuning in to adult entertainment. The Chigs are launching an attack outside Proxima. Hey, Vanson, why do they call aliens Chigs? Because they look like Chigos. What are Chigos? They're like fleas. They burrow themselves into your skin. Well, to me, they look more like praying mantis or, or a walking stick. We could call them walkers. Let's blow the hell out of the walkers. Yeah. Keep working on it. <clears throat> Because that challenge is one that we're willing to accept, one we are unwilling to postpone, and one we intend to win. This over? Commercial. They're transmitting the Bears 49ers game. The Niners suck. They haven't won a Super Bowl in 68 years. They're talking about canceling the season because of the war. Now, I'll live through the war, but, man, I will die if I don't get any football. Well, we can't have the aliens getting credit for a kill they didn't earn. Heck. On the History Network, Planes of Yesterday. Damn, boom! Damn, goodbye! Damn, boom! Damn! 
I can't leave. I will find you. I believe in you. Tell us, isn't it? Where you were gonna colonize. I never thought I'd see it. From Earth, it would have taken 12 years for the next wormhole to open. In space, it's just a shortcut through a reticulum. I was just thinking what it would have been like to have been with her, seeing Tellus together for the first time. Ship's dropped anchor. We're going in. Way too hot. We have a mission briefing in 15. Maybe we'll know more. Look. An army APC. Where the hell did that come from? I'm going down to the observation room to get a better look. Nathan. I hope we're not getting any ideas. Bad ideas. Take him to the 14th mid-deck. Good to see you again. They told me the light hurts your eyes. I didn't wish to make you uncomfortable. And I'm certain you didn't want to create any discomfiture. That's why I felt we should talk. We wouldn't want to be irresponsible with the account of your experiences. In particular, what you may have learned from many extended exposure to the enemy. You can trust me. Because I know the Marines killed one on Mars. We've studied it. And now I know more about them than anyone should. So tell me. Tell me what I know. Tell me what I know. Tell me Well, you'll be taken away and you'll be re-educated about your time on TELUS. I can tell you what I know about you. You're not the farthest man from home. Sit down. All right, this one's in the air. Our mission is a reconnaissance patrol of two planets in the Indy 209100 star system. Both are hot. 
Chig's own him. West. What are you wondering what to get me for Christmas? The rules of engagement are as follows. Don't hang around for seconds. We lost the entire 34th to an ambush on a similar patrol. I want you on the flight deck at 1720. The time will be 1650. Ready? Ready? Hack. I know that guy, Sewell. He's on the Aerotech Board of Directors. He's one of the ones that had me thrown off the TELUS mission. All the way down here? No. Well, what would he be doing? Saratoga could just be a layover for some civilian destination. No. There's a TELUS survivor on board. Huh. You saw the Army APC arrive. When I went to mid-deck, it was restricted, but I saw someone in a biohazard suit under Green Beret escort. Sewell was there. Sounds like maybe a crewman was exposed to a chemical leak. Aerotech had two colonies, Vesta and Telus. Vesta's three parsecs away, Telus is in reach. Na Nathan, the Telus attack was weeks ago. The chances that anyone West. is still... She's dead. Drive on, it don't mean nothing. How the hell would you know what it meant, Tech? Hey, Nathan, Nathan, he's right. There is nothing you can do about her, nothing. The only thing that you can do is get back in the war, and that we do in 30 mics. So suit up. What are you doing? They don't make nothing with in vitros anymore. Ray. You, you get in my ears and you do that in my eyes. And I, I, I did nothing. I did nothing but live. And, oh, okay, so I'm far from home. I'm very far from home. I mean, you can go. You can go home. The others have gone home. They have gone home and they, they have left me here alone. Kylan. Kylan Selena. Has she gone home? No. She's far. She is 
very far from home. All set, sir. Where's West? Stop right now. Think about it, West. Where the hell you think you're going, soldier? You have a mission to fly. Drop that cockpit and you are gone. is hot. The aliens own it. You'll be boloed before entry. Now you turn him and burn him right back here. He's beyond insubordination. He's on the brink of desertion. He's out there operating with no regard for good order or proper conduct. He thinks he's only putting himself in danger, but by bailing out of the mission, he puts all of your lives on the line. He threatens every grunt that hits the beach who relies on our recon. This war wasn't made just for Nathan West. Every life in this war is tied together. Sir, it wasn't a selfish act. It was a selfless one. He believes people are alive on Telus. He went out after someone. That someone better be worth dying for, because that's what's going to happen to him if no one does anything about it. Sir, if you were able, if you weren't grounded by your injury, would you go? I'll be damned if he takes the easy way and dies before I can get at him. Now, you've got a mission to fly. I'm doing it. Going over south to west? 
74.6 megastatue kilometers into the sortie. I'm changing course to tell us. Wang and Nefus are going to cover for me. It's a 48-hour patrol, so we've got 36 hours to go out and get him. We? Oui. I need a wingman to CMA. After me and West, you're the best jockey in the 58th. You and West are after me. The question is, are you and me going after West? Flight deck. All personnel, clear the flight deck. Flight deck is clear. Close flight deck bay doors. Stand by for hammerhead launch. Get lit. Begin hammerhead engagement sequence. Ace of Diamonds, 72.6 MSKs going, Elvis. Copy that. It's now or never. Ace of Diamonds, this is Jack of Spades. I'm at your 4 o'clock tight. Roger that. I have a visual. Let's smoke them. Tags of those who survived. Russell Cunningham, never forget us. Kyle and Selena, Nathan, we're always together. 
look to the high ground. Trans-Talus injection complete. Reports that the Colonial Cutter went down around the 31st parallel. We'll grid search starting there. Roger that. They won't come here. We've seen them outside. They don't come inside. Ashford. Teresa, you were on my level. It's Nathan, Nathan West. West, oh my God. You were removed from the mission. How did... I'm here to find Kyle and Selena. Where is she? Where are the others? They took them. Where? Show me. No. For all we know, they're dead. For all we expect, they're dead. But you're not certain. They got them. They got them and took them away. These things kill. That's all they do, these things. came to look for survivors. We're all that's left. Take us home. I can't. My plane's disabled. I won't have enough power to escape orbit. If the Marines know that you're here, they'll send somebody after you. No. I'm here without authority. They won't come. 
Congratulations, West. You got what you wanted. Finally, one of us. Tell us, colonist. Is it everything you thought it would be? Stranded on this planet? Waiting to die. After the initial attack, many of us were still alive. But they're awaiting those things. I don't remember landing. I just was suddenly aware that I was running and running. I saw flashes of light, flashes from their weapons, firing on the wounded. It's funny how the mind works sometimes. Even at those moments with the colonists running in all directions, I became aware that this planet looked a lot like Earth. Teresa and I were followed. We hid in the cave. And I believe they know where we are. But I think they're afraid of their dead. But it seems safe. I went alone to the spot where our colony was going to be. There, 25 miles northwest. The aliens burned everything. I looked at the charred remains, and even after all those deaths, that's when I knew. Our dream is over. You know where they've taken her? Teresa will never go, and I won't leave her alone. Fifty years from now, on that burnt spot, the trees will be back. And so will we. Now tell me where she is. Still no sign of him. We're bingo in zero plus 45. Roger that. Maybe Wes got his mind right and went back. Or never made it. I got something. 38.5 degrees north, 60.2 degrees west. That's his hammerhead. There's a flat surface like a lake bed. Four degrees north, northeast. Looks like we can put him down. Hey, roger that. Let's go in. Get 
Drink in the chicken spread! This is Ace of Diamonds. Come in. This is Wild Card Base. Go ahead. Have met heavy enemy resistance. Jack of Spades is down. Please advise. Hold tight, AOD. Dispatch an APC to tell us immediately. Sir, that area is restricted. Do it. There's no air cover. There will be. a chig, you'd have a hole in your head right now. Why don't you just let a bonfire? You're supposed to extinguish all traces of flame before moving on. Look who's talking regulations. I wouldn't even be here right now if you hadn't made yourself your own commander-in-chief. A survivor told me she was alive. And is she? All you heard is what you wanted to hear. Oh, my misunderstanding. I'll just go back. Wait, my plane's in a million pieces, and I'm thinking incoming. It's too hairy. They're getting closer. I ain't going back. I'm out of range. Follow you. I know a place they won't go. You were both right. No, it's not them. Six. Let's send a rattlesnake right up there. Air cover! Move! Move! Kylie! Kylie! Get him in here! Five seconds! Get him! Colonel McQueen, with the crap you've pulled in your career, that you continue to pull, you should have been drummed out of the Corps. Sir, with my war record, I should have been made a general. Why not? You give orders like one insubordinate orders. When the hell do you think you are? Sending your people and army personnel into a hot LZ. Sir, I volunteered, sir. Volunteered? You deserted your mission. Sir, I insisted Lieutenant Hawks do so. 
I thought you wanted to be a Marine Corps officer, Benson. Your parents were officers. What would your father have thought of his daughter being court-martialed? Sir, this starts and stops right here. This was my misconduct, my responsibility. I went over the hill, I took the aircraft. Neither my superior officer nor my fellow officers would have engaged in a breach of duty if not for me. I was aware of the severe consequences and am prepared to be the only one to face the repercussions of my actions. They rescued two survivors, sir. Your actions, each of you, and the repercussions of which have been reclassified, compartmentalized. You understand that all actions and accounts upon the planet Tullus did not exist, nor will they exist. Any breach of this understanding is a violation of compartmentalized information, and there will be severe consequences. Dismissed. What the hell was that? Enough. It's not to be talked about. Those were orders. I know Commodore Ross. He wouldn't hesitate for a second to court-martial all of us. Someone higher up obviously pulled a string. If we're not careful, we could be hanging from it. We're shipping out. The chicks are hitting Procyon. Third wing's getting their asses kicked. It's gonna be hairy. Mm. It's far from here. Real far. I want you guys to know. I was close. To her? To home. All hands, this is the captain. Watch your hands, watch your hands.